Millions of people all over the world are affected by conflict and fragility. And the impact goes beyond affecting a single life, a single community, or even a single country. Conflict is one of the greatest development challenges of our time. The New Deal is an agreement that sets out new ways for donors to engage with fragile states. It's country-led and country-owned. The New Deal is a way of, of helping um, fragile as well as developing countries to be able to take charge of their destiny. The New Deal is all about putting everyone together and, and going in the same direction long term. Lessons from around the world on what does and does not work are reflected in the New Deal. Countries and global partners must invest in what will make sustainable peace possible. These are the five peace-building and state-building goals. The first one is inclusive politics, and we should make sure that it's inclusive to make the situation as resilient as possible. If you're not secure, then it's very difficult to have sustainable development, and people must feel safe. Access to justice and really building the legal system is, is very important economic growth. This is of course also very basic for any country that needs to get out of fragility and poverty. And the fifth one is institutions and service delivery. So you need to make sure that the service delivery reaches out to the people. So the PSGs are the very foundations of ensuring that countries move from fragility to levels of resilience. There are two guiding principles a real commitment to country-led and country-owned processes, and to building strong partnerships with stakeholders to ensure results. Prior to joining the New Deal, Sierra Leone had already overcome high levels of violence and held peaceful and democratic elections, including the transition of power to an opposition leader in 2007. The New Deal strengthened national ownership of the development agenda. 2014 is the year that millions of Afghans cast their ballot in a peaceful presidential election and the year that the international military force is scheduled to leave the country. Afghanistan has made great strides in working with donors to ensure that aid and national development policies are focused on delivering results for the people. I think Somalia is the best example of great progress and it's been a completely collapsed state since 1991. And this has been an instrument to really strengthen uh, Somalia and we're hoping to see a peaceful Somalia where the New Deal principles are applied, where there's working groups around all these peace-building and state-building goals. We should never think that this is a quick fix because if peace was a quick fix, then we would have fixed it. So it is when a country takes charge of its development destiny will you then say that development indeed is on the way? I think the New Deal is perfectly uh, designed for helping out to, to achieve the goal number 16 that we just adopted uh, here at the United Nations on peaceful societies. Addressing conflict and violence must be a priority post-2015. And the New Deal, as you know, calls for stronger ownership. And that's very, very much a common tune uh, throughout all of our countries, individually and collectively. More countries and organizations that join the New Deal, the more powerful our impact will be. I am optimistic that indeed um, humanity you know, has um, committed itself to ensure that um, we do that which is right for humanity. It is time now for us to take the next steps, to do more, to be bold, and to work together. <laughs>